The lesson topic for this video is add and subtract rational expressions after getting an LCD. So once again, I have a list of steps here that you probably want to jot down in your notes so that when you are practicing, you will know the process in which to uh, add or subtract these problems. So first of all, if needed, get an LCD, a least common denominator, and we talked about that in the previous lesson. Then we're going to multiply each fraction by the parts of the LCD that it is missing, which will make a lot more sense after we look at some examples. Then we're going to add or, add or subtract straight across the top, which we have already done, combine like terms, which we have already done. If possible, we're going to factor the numerator and then look for ways to make one. And again, those steps are not new from our previous lessons. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at this first example. Remember, the steps that you wrote in your notes are what we're going to follow. If needed, get a least common denominator. In order to add these two equations, or excuse me, fractions, we need to have a common denominator, and we do not have that right now. So we're going to first find an LCD, and I'm going to write that, sorry, I'm going to write this over here, my least common denominator. Remember that the steps for finding the LCD are what we did in a previous lesson. The first thing you do is factor each denominator. Notice this is completely factored and so is this. If it helps, you can put parentheses around x plus 3 and x minus 5 to remind yourself that those are binomial factors. So we're going to list every factor of the first denominator, which is x plus 3, and then we're going to include in the LCD any other factors of the second denominator that we haven't written down already, which is x minus 5. So there's our LCD. Now, we need, to multi um, we need to multiply each fraction by the parts of the LCD that it is missing. So take one fraction at a time. Let's look at this fraction here. What part of the LCD is the denominator missing? Well, it's missing the x minus 5. So what we need to do is we need to multiply the denominator of this fraction right here, which I'm extending, by x minus 5. But remember, if I multiply just the denominator of a fraction, I've changed the value of that fraction, which we cannot do. So I need to also multiply the numerator by the x minus 5. Now if you think through what we talked about with simplifying, we now have x minus 5 over x minus 5, which cancels or makes a 1. If we multiply this fraction by just 1, which is what this is, it doesn't change the value. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other fraction. We have an x minus 5, but we do not have the x plus 3. So we need to multiply by x minus 3. And if I multiply the de denominator of a fraction, I need to also multiply the numerator of the fraction so that I haven't changed its value. All right, so the next step says add or subtract straight across the top. I'm actually going to add just a, um, one little thing in between here, is that I would next distribute in the numerators if needed, okay, and which we do need to do. If you look, we have a binomial factor times a monomial factor, so we're going to want to distribute the 2x to each part of the binomial, and we're going to want to distribute the 6 as well. All right. When we distribute on the left-hand side, this fraction over here, we're going to get 2x times x, so 2x squared. And then we get 2x times 5, which is 10x, and it's subtraction in between there. So we get that. On the right-hand side, we have 6 times x minus 3, so 6 times x is 6x minus 6 times 3, which is 18. Now, we're still adding, so I'm going to include this addition sign in between here. So we are going to rewrite this with the numerator, which is 2x squared minus 10x plus 6x minus 18. And then the denominator is x minus 5 times x plus 3. Now one thing I want to point out to you, if x minus 5 is in the front and x plus 3 is second, that doesn't make a difference if my LCD was written in the opposite way. That's not going to change anything. All right, so now we're going to um, combine like terms. So there are some like terms here. And we're going to uh, simplify here. We're going to get 2x squared 
minus 4x minus 18. And again, that's because the negative 10x and the positive 6x are like terms. And in the denominator, we still have x minus 5 times x plus 3. All right, so after we combine like terms, we've done these steps before, by the way. If possible, factor the numerator. So to do so, we can see right away GCF of 2 to take out. And so we have x squared minus 2x minus 9. And now <clears throat> we factor what's in parentheses if possible. Now, it's a situation where a is 1, so we just think about this negative 9 out here. Negative 9 is negative 1 times 9, or negative 3 times 3. And so we notice that it cannot be factored because we cannot get a 2. So for this one, factor the numerator if possible, we cannot factor any further. So we are going to have our final answer of 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 9 over x minus 5, x plus 3. Alright, let's try this next one. Again, the first thing we need to do is factor each denominator so we can find an LCD. When we factor the denominator of the first fraction, we get x times x plus 3, and the second denominator is already factored as just an x. So now if we want to find our LCD, we're going to list all the factors of the first denominator, which is x times x plus 3. Those are both factors. And then we include any additional factors that we didn't already have. Now notice this is x, and we already have an x. So this is our LCD right here. You do not want to include another x. All right, now, even before all of that, perhaps, we should have paid attention to the fact that this is subtraction. Subtraction is a big issue. A lot of people will mess up here because they'll forget and they'll just add. So what I would like you to do is actually change it to addition so we don't have to worry about forgetting. So I'm going to change the subtraction sign to an addition sign, and I'm going to change um, all the signs of the numerator's terms. Now the numerator is just 5, so now it is a negative 5 there. So we're adding the opposite, which is what we can do with subtraction. Okay, so now we're on to the step that says make sure every fraction has the LCD as its denominator. We already have the x and the x plus 3 in this denominator, which means we are not going to change the first fraction at all. It is going to stay the same. The second fraction, however, only has an x, and we need the x plus 3 factor. So we're going to multiply the denominator by x plus 3, so now it does have the least common denominator. But if you multiply the denominator, you have to multiply the numerator as well. All right, now remember that step I kind of squeezed into the, the steps on the previous page is we are going to now distribute right here. Again, nothing to do over here, but there is something here. Pay attention to that negative sign. So we've got um, negative 5x, and then negative 5 times 3 is minus 15. So again, be careful. You might not have that minus sign there. All right, now we are going to add across the top. So I'm going to rewrite this as 3 plus, and now we are done with this. We have this only up here now, right? 3 plus negative 5x minus 15 over our LCD of x times x plus 3. We're going to combine like terms in our numerator. Okay, so we have like terms of 3 and negative 15. You can leave the negative 5x, and then it's going to be minus 12 when we combine our like terms, and it's over x times x plus 3. Now we factor the numerator if possible. Notice it is not possible to factor anything out except for perhaps a negative 1. Uh, you could do that or not. Um, it's not going to be uh, the hugest deal, but we can factor that out if we want to. And then the denominator remains the same, and there is nothing else we can do for this problem. So our final answer, negative 5x plus 12 in parentheses, over x times x plus 3.
Okay, I'm going to recommend that you try this one on your own. Try walking through all those steps to find the LCD and then to make sure each denominator has the LCD and then see if you can add and simplify and find the correct answer. I will show the work after a couple of seconds here and the answer and hopefully you have the right solution. If not, talk to me about it in class. Alright, and there is the final answer.